And as of today, covering your mouth and nose when out in public is mandatory in all four Valley counties. Monica De Anda with a closer look at your options and how to make sure you're keeping everything clean. These days, when you step out of the house on an essential trip, you bring along your mask. It creates a barrier and does not allow the sprays or the cough sneeze or sprays to, to, to be expelled. This is a new norm in the midst of the coronavirus outbreak. Lisa Aguilar, employee health nurse at Harlingen Medical Center, says there's three main types of masks. Surgical. And this is what it looks like. It has three different layers within it. Procedural, which looks like the one she has on, and homemade masks. Aguilar says a surgical mask or a procedural mask can be worn if you purchase them independently. But when it comes to an N95 mask, those are not recommended for community setting use. Unless they have a medical clearance to wear the mask and it, they've been fit tested to know that, they, there's, that it's effective or an appropriate wear or fit for them, it should not be worn. Additionally, they should be reserved for people in the healthcare community because those are the people that need it. And when it comes to the actual fit of the mask, try to have it secure to your face, um, but you don't want it so tight that it's causing any kind of um, uh, problems with your skin. Christina Limon, director of infection control at Harlingen Medical Center, says the way it fits is most important. So you need to be careful that um, the mask is not too tight around your ears or around your nose. And when you're ready to take it off? It should be removed um, by the earlobes. You should not touch the face of the mask because that's considered contaminated. You should always perform basic hand hygiene before and after touching the face of the mask, as well as putting it on and off. And it's best to store your mask in one of these. In a, in a ventilated bag. A plastic bag is not recommended because it can retain moisture. And most importantly, and only one uh, mask per bag. Don't put several masks in, in one bag. When it comes to caring for the mask, if it's material based, they recommend throwing it in the laundry daily. But if it's a surgical mask, dispose of it when it becomes visibly soiled or wet. Although a mask does offer a layer of protection, don't forget. It should be done with the other measures of basic hand hygiene, um, still practicing that cough etiquette, maintaining um, a distance from people, um, staying home when you're sick. This will help protect your germs from being spread to others and vice versa. Monica De Anda, Channel 5 News at 6.